Thomas, since we last were here, we've had the, the, the grip of the pandemic and 2020 sort of yep. meant we didn't really get to, to visit. We're coming into the sowing season now at the end of 2021 and, and that you have had a very good harvest this year. Touch wood, it's not too often you get it. The weather played ball, crops have been good and I think across farming in general, there's a bit of money in it this year. So I think there's a good positive there across farming at the moment, so we can't complain. Now what happens when farmers make a few bob? Buy, Everybody puts up prices. They buy, no, 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 they buy more shiny paint. <laughs> Sometimes. We were we were down and we followed that. It was just a small bit of the journey, but you got the first 8RX into Ireland for a demo. Yeah. At 410. And Guy and I, we went down and we, we, we seen it at the handling machinery and at the dealership. And we seen you come and lift it and bring it down and then set it to do a little bit of work sewing which it was very impressive on but i think not maybe expected but it was maybe more impressive on your big chaser it was i think the big chaser was one that kind of it really showed us the real benefit of it i think um said it was something we'd kind of talked with john Deere about going back over a year ago that we'd love to see it we've seen those demos going around england and we'd love to see one over just to give it a just to give it a try, we always had tracks up in the farm up until 2017 and we just felt the two track system just wasn't the right setup for us. Just with, we'd love it, the tracks on the, the likes of the sower and stuff like that, but torn on and headlands, it never really worked. So in fairness to John Deere, they did get into the country and they gave us the first shot at it. We had it um, subsoiling actually, the machine that he used on the Challenger a couple of years ago, the big cousins. Um, what a day. We sold most of our oil seed rape with it. For the last day we had it there, actually the day you were down, mm -hmm. we put on the chaser bin. So a little bit of work to get it, everything to fit and match up, but it was the best thing we've done because I, I have to say, it really came to its own, the chaser bin. We're running combines on tracks, we're running, the grain cart is running, I think it's 800 tires, so you're trying to keep the compaction down as much as you can. And when you're seeing the tracks actually sitting on the ground and her walking away in the field, compared to your tractor and tyres, ground contact is massive. You know, I was fortunate enough when I come down, I filled a couple of loads alongside myself and just clearance is a bit better, um, you know, for out over the, the, the rows of straw and just the way she manoeuvres, but the fact that, you know, she can chase, if you get what I'm saying, with speed. Yeah. You know, she's got the power, she's, she's able to power. get up away from the combine, you know, that was a 410 on an E23. Yes. Which wouldn't be your preference. No, I would have, and even we talked about coming, like a demo, I would have kind of, I would have much rather see a 370 coming in, because the 370 comes with your Vario that we're used to. We're, we're kind of more comfortable with, we're well used to even, say getting back down to your rotivating and stuff like that, you can get down to the real slow speeds that you need. And, you know, it's just the Vario thing's an all rounder. Now, I presume, because of the power of the 410, that's why it's not into the 410, it's the E23. But as the tractor, even in the chase have been, it still worked. You know what I mean? It was still... Well, still it, you're saying there, but down, you know, is that if you had a 370, which is the biggest you can get um, with your Command Pro, would that be like one of the jobs? Obviously, you'd be thinking like setting up, I'm, I'm assuming setting up your region. Yes, which that's, you, that's you typically are using 939s that's, for. That's the kind of thing, yeah. You're looking for something that you're not to do. We used to do all the region with the Challenger. And that's one of the main reasons. She'd just float on top of the ground. And it wasn't, you'd, you'd notice it big time with your rotator blades. It never wore behind the track. Whereas with a wheel tractor, you'll always wear the blades behind the wheel faster. Where you run the tracks, it just shows you, you don't have the compaction. Again, when we were sewing for the outseed rape, you could walk, you could look at the field with the track now. Don't get me wrong, conditions were perfect. But even with the track at play, you could kick the dust and it was all loose. Yeah. And that, that's pretty much because when the challenger left, you went you went straight to doing that job with a 939. Yes. With Country Crest mindset, we can see where there's a, a genuine desire potentially for the likes of a new Well we, we just want we wanted to see it. Yeah. 
you know, the four track, we've been watching it and, and there's been an awful lot of positive talk about it from England. And I gather there's been a lot of them sold in England already. So there's a... There has. I, I think they're one of the... I think the numbers of 8RXs that have been sold in England is actually quite astonishing. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's mental. I'm going to say 40 or 50 something. Yeah. No, off it's, the top it's, of my head. Yeah. No, it's but definitely up there. and it's. We'll not say too much more, but what you're saying is expect a 370 with Command Pro. <laughs> I'm not saying to expect anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we done, we done what we wanted to do with it. Sewing and the grain cart was two things we really wanted to test it on and in both, like it impresses both ways. So now don't get me wrong, to go tracks, it's a big cost. I think in the in machine there, machinery is getting bigger, but I think we have to kind of think back the other way as well. So it's a... Uh, well, they're not making any more land, Thomas. No. So we'll have to, we'll have to look yeah. after the and bit that, and that, that we is have the thing, yeah. <laughs> and do it as best as yeah. we can. Thank you very much, Thomas. Yeah, no matter at all.